Hey, we're up here on Stone Mountain, the new site for the 2013 60th Annual Oktoberfest. Let's go find out what's cooking. Welcome to Oktoberfest 2013. You guys ready? Barbecue chef, uh, uh, originally from America, from California, but I've lived in Italy for 25 years. This is my very first uh, Eggtoberfest, so uh, honored and excited, excited, and uh, I want to get educated today. What's your recipe? Uh, that's the secret. <laughs> what are you guys cooking today? We got everything from Smoking Joe's fantastic pizzas. We got Bob's breakfast sausage and biscuits. We got Ken cooking up pork kebabs with an Asian glaze. Find any recipe you want, cook it on the big green egg. Your money. And we have uh, my award-winning sausage that's won here the last three years. We have I a soup with it. I saw all the awards, man. You got to walk around here like you're the king. You know, I'm just happy to be here. Good Lord willing, I'll be able to contribute to the party. We have Graham Ray Hall, IndyCar racer right here, and Egghead, by the way. Your first Eggtoberfest, what are your thoughts, man, coming out here and seeing this wonderful crowd and tasting all that incredible food? We're pretty full, I can tell you that. Um, it's incredible to see the amount of people here. I mean, obviously, I know how the Eggheads are, Woo! but to see, you know, several thousand people here and, and uh, each and every one of these guys kind of making their own recipe and giving it out to you to try. I mean, there's a lot of food. Uh, what has been your favorite thing so far? What, what? Well, you just can't, you can't beat Dr. Barbecue. No. <laughs> the stuff uh, Dr. Barbecue is cooking on the new Double XL is incredible. How cool is that thing? That thing's amazing. <laughs> I mean, although I was just in the store and I saw Eggzilla, I think you need to make one of those decks. Hey, Graham, appreciate you coming out, man. Glad you enjoyed it. Absolutely. Hey, uh, real quick. Yeah. You didn't happen to be in there earlier, were you? I thought the steering wheel doesn't look quite right to me. No, that, that, was, that wasn't me, man. Hey, thanks, appreciate it. We're here with Dr. Barbecue Ray Lampy and Ray, we were just talking to Graham Ray Hall and he said you stuffed his space with some great food <laughs> off of the XL and he loved it. Well you can feed everybody off the XL. We had at one point we had 13 big pork chops and 17 pork steaks on here all at the same time. So we fed Graham, his friends, and a whole lot of other people. Hey, talk about this event out here, Oktoberfest at the park this year. Very different, and, and uh, what a great atmosphere. You know, it is. It's a different setting, but the vibe is the same. Nothing like a fresh egg. Everybody's here to cook a little, eat a little, have a couple beers, listen to some music. It's a beautiful day. Hey, Ray, what do you think? Uh, at Double X here, uh, a great uh, egg, uh, an experience, if you will. This is incredible, man, and how much stuff This was you my first it. time cooking on it, and it cooked just like any other egg. Hey, you still got the goatee and the hair. You are all good. I lost a little on this side, I'm uh -oh, afraid. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> This is what we call Hot Georgia Nights Brats. Basically, it's Iowa pork made in a homemade sausage with peaches and jalapenos. Oh, very nice, very nice. All right, and how long have you guys been coming out here to Egg Fest? We've come out here now for about, this is our seventh year. And only here at Egg Fest will you see Iowa fans and Iowa State fans side by side in peace working and cooking together. Just for today. Just for today. After today, it's over. It's all over. <laughs> I like it. Throw them out there. Throw them out there. I'm Chris Capel, uh, Dizzy Pig Barbecue Company, and we're here at Eggtoberfest. Uh, this is the rub we started making for a big green egg uh, that is awesome on salmon. It's got uh, maple sugar in it and all kinds of other stuff that's really good on salmon. It's great on pork as well. Uh, surprisingly good on pork. Uh, we're cooking the salmon. Uh, we actually put the Kodiak River on it, like a good coat where you can almost not see fish anymore. And we put it on the grill, like direct over the charcoal, probably about 350, something like that. All depends on how thick the fish is. After a few minutes on each side, you got uh, really good browning. Um, you baste it with a mixture of maple syrup and butter. It's about uh, two thirds maple syrup and a third butter. Mix that all together, heat it up, get it all mixed together, and then uh, you just baste that on the last couple minutes of cooking, and it's fantastic. Mike and Charlie, these guys are from New York. What are you guys cooking today? 
Uh, we took a whole chicken. Uh, I made a uh, chipotle scallion compound butter. I loosened the whole skin. I rubbed it all under the skin, put it in the cavity. We cooked it on the egg for about an hour and a half at about, what, 350? 350 indirect with the plate set of red. Awesome. And you guys are big eggheads. How long have you guys been eggheads? It's about Christmas. We got him one uh, Christmas Day. Yeah, I got my and first egg Christmas Day from my family. I always wanted one, but I was gun shy to pull the trigger because it's a big investment. Sure. Christmas Day, under the tree with an egg. <laughs> there it is. And I've been an eggaholic ever since. You got to love that Santa Claus, don't you? I'm telling you, he's a great man. Town manager of Eggtown. <laughs> Eggtown, USA. Right over here is the mayor of Eggtown. Where's your mayor apron? I know, I, I got on the common man apron. Oh. Back. We're here with one of the biggest eggheads you'll ever meet, and that's a compliment for this guy. This is Kim Youngblood from the North Georgia Eggers, and uh, you've been coming to these egg fest for a very long time. I think this is about our seventh egg hey, fest. All right. My wife and I, we have four eggs. <laughs> we I have love two, it. We have it's like the large, kids. <laughs> right, we have the large, two larges, a small, and a mini, and we use the uh, the small and the large pretty much regularly every day. But we like to bake different things. This morning we did um, some Danish, we did cheese Danish. We're doing some sandwiches on the egg right now. Uh, so we just like to show off the versatility of the egg. And I love it. This time we were able to get 16 of us to cook together in the same general area. So we're, we're having a good time. You can tell this guy's a big fan. Look at all these pins this guy's got. All right, we're here with Linky, and that's where I'm going to leave it because your name, I'll screw it up. I know I will. Linky, hey, I appreciate you coming out here to Oktoberfest. Thank you so your much thoughts? Is this your first one? It's my first one, and I am having a blast. Yeah, this is really cool. Oh my gosh. And now, uh, obviously, you're from uh, South Africa. We'll talk about that a little bit. South Africa, I was born and raised in South African, and I speak Afrikaans. It's my first language. And um, I immigrated to Mississippi, Tupelo, Mississippi. How the heck did you end up there? <laughs> <laughs> it was a company that brought my dad over. So, uh, um, I was 16 years old, so they, the English I picked up then was Southern English, so I say y'all, you know. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, and now, so now we're about three years ago, we moved to Massachusetts, so okay. that's where I am now. And uh, obviously an egghead now. Talk about that. How long egghead. have you had it? How long have you had <laughs> You know, I see you online as well, and on television, by the way, oh, uh, but you, you also have a, a medium, or I'm uh, sorry, a large and a mini. And a mini egg, yes. Yeah. I, I was introduced to the Big Green Egg uh, in March this year at um, Orlando at the HPB Expo. Yep. Did the celebrity cook off there with uh, Dr. Barbecue and everything, and um, fell in love with it. To me, the grill is perfect, and me as a baker, it's it's even more perfect because you can bake on it. All right, I'm here with Craig. Craig, man, you got some chocolate chip cookies here, and they look delicious. The problem is. You have a long line, and I don't think you have enough cookies. No, I'm winding down on charcoal, too, so whoever's the 16th person in line is going to be <laughs> a little sorry. All right, so how long have you become an egg Oktoberfest? This is our second year of cooking, yep. um, but we've been to a few um, local egg fests. Now, where are you guys from? We're from Columbia, South Carolina. And you obviously have an egg that you cook on at absolutely, home? I got two. All right, you're the man, Craig. <laughs> I love this guy, and thanks, and we're going to see you next year? Yeah, absolutely. Let's, let's bring a few extra cookies, okay? Okay, absolutely. Oh, they just came off. They're going to be good. They're warm. Oh, man. What do you think so far? I love it. We're very full. Uh, great. <laughs> that's the whole point. Now, you guys own an egg? We do. You do? We just and got one. You did? And you had it. to come here and check it out yeah. and see what it's all about? Yeah. We're learning. Are you guys impressed or what? Yeah. We are. Another successful Oktoberfest. Appreciate everybody coming out to the 16th annual Oktoberfest here at Stone Mountain. We're going to see you next year for the 17th annual Oktoberfest. Don't forget, get online early, biggreenegg.com. Thanks a lot, everybody. Appreciate you watching. Okay, we're here at the 16th annual Oktoberfest, and look at this line. This is amazing. And excuse me, what's your name? Sandy. Sandy. Uh, you probably thought you got here really early. I did. And now look at this line. So you're gonna, you're gonna be standing here for a while, okay? I think so. I'm gonna go grab a light to be. I'll be back, okay? Okay. <laughs> 2013 16th annual Oktoberfest. Let's go find. Oh.